And he is looking pretty on form. I think losing to Rewind was like kind of just, it was really just a matter of Rewind outplayed him. But yes. at the end of the day, Dizzy still made some incredible choices in that set. And Azerbaijan, you know, rocking that Sonya that we haven't actually yes. seen in a very long time as well. I wonder if he's still playing just a flat out no holds barred. But I do know something about Azerbaijan, and he loves the multi hitting kick with Sonya. Yes, I, I believe that is what really defined him as a Sonya player. You know, he was the one who took the unorthodox variation and style, whilst everyone decided to take the cancels for the maximum How am I damage. To fight you? Try not to overthink it. You look too much like your dad. Well, lest we forget as well, Dizzy obviously qualified, you know, you playing so much Sonya in year one as well. He knows this character inside and out. Now, this is a battle of the 950 HP characters, both frail. <laughs> 950 HP is a rough one, but in this kind of situation, neither character has the health advantage. Okay, Azerbaijan yeah. now playing on the offense, using these 50-50s, goes for the takedown as well. Yeah, with both of these characters not actually having as much health as some of the others, every touch is really going to lead to a lot of damage. Ooh, goes for the overhead, finishes the string, lasers. Okay, the throw tech as well from Dizzy right there. It says, good off of me. He's going to anti-air with that beam, or rather with the... Oh Ooh. my goodness! That was a nice bit of tech right there with the air takedown, cashing out on the KB into the down two as Azerbaijan takes on that first round against DG Dizzy TT. No, really good stuff and understanding of the matchup from Azerbaijan. I've never seen that before. That is something very, very new to me. But I'm intrigued to see how Dizzy's going to approach this. Because as mentioned, Dizzy played a lot, a lot of Sonya. And was seen for a while as the Sonya, especially on this side of the planet. Very true. Using these plus frames and just harassing Azerbaijan as much as he can right now. Oh, what a cool bait out. as well. The very, very deep jump in right there into the air grenade. Yeah, but Azerbaijan does have access to that fatal blow, and it does oh hit like a great frame. Oh my god, is goodness. that dead? No, no way, no way. But that broke armor, and that's good. Oh my, wait, wait actually. It's going down to the face stomp. I don't think it's dead. No, 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 it's but not dead, but that's a, a lot of damage. Bad position for Dizzy. Against a 950 HP character, that hurts hard. Yeah. And the auto shimmy with the 333. I believe it's an auto shimmy, or, or um, either way. No, it probably isn't. But just multi hitting kicks. Uh, right there, uh, Azerbaijan actually taking the first game, which was uh, pretty unexpected uh, for it to be that, I guess, one-sided, you know, in that, in that final round. The, uh, Dizzy had his moments, he was cashing out on the damage and stuff, mm -hmm. but Azerbaijan's really been committing to his mix. You know, we, we saw him just yeah. kind of just go in for the overhead after, after conditioning Dizzy in the earlier round with the, with the takedown, the low and stuff, where Dizzy was really blocking overhead. But we're going to see some adaptations. Obviously, he had a uh, Dizzy lost the first game against Rewind, but since then, he, was, he rapidly, rapidly improved. He knows what to do differently. Yeah, now, I, I will say on Dizzy's part, it was definitely a bad decision for him to go for that breakaway at any point in time, because that yeah. little blow was in play, and it probably would have come down to a 50-50 situation, something he, that he could have used to his advantage. Now, yes, some might not want to deal with that situation, but it's much better having to deal with that than instant death. Very, very true. Now over here, we're seeing Dizzy just trying to find something. He's just trying to find a hit, but Azerbaijan being ever so resilient and patiently holding the block. Plus frames. You know, we tried to challenge. That's going to hurt. Forced off the breakaway as well. Still eating all this damage and burning, but no punish on that counter. Beautiful anti-air right there from Dizzy, getting a little bit more comfortable. I don't believe this will be death, but it's gonna really, really hurt. And gotta be careful about yeah. that 50-50 situation, as I mentioned. And that wasn't even a legitimate punish, but still managing to find himself to forward throw. Gonna close out the round for himself, Dizzy TT, taking this back, looking a little bit more on form. Yeah, of course, these were the adjustments we were actually talking about just at the very start here. Dizzy being very, very patient at the moment. Oh, oh what a blush. Of course, that doesn't really work too, too much offline now. Oh, it definitely does not. And Dizzy obviously responding to that straight away. He has Azerbaijan in the corner. But right now, Azer fighting his way out just a little bit. Neutral jump from Dizzy to deny the crossover. Yeah, but Azerbaijan not out of this just, just yet. Definitely going for that 50-50 option. Oh, this is going to hurt. Even off the down two itself, but the incredible challenge right there, but doesn't capitalize off it. Oh, there oh it is, my 50 -50 goodness. Once again. Yeah, 50 50 straight into the fatal blow. The absolute commitment from Azerbaijan, who's going to tie up the rounds now at one apiece. Yeah, this could honestly, this could go either way with how Azerbaijan has been playing with this, uh, this Sonya. We haven't seen in a very long time. 
Yeah, truly. We haven't seen him play Sonya in a, 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 quite a while, yeah. Mm. Like, uh, he might have been doing his bits online, but really, like, we, we don't actually get to see Azerbaijan, like, com uh, compete a lot, really, yeah. due to his region. Yeah, very interesting trades here from both characters at the moment, but does he need to pull out all the stuff? Oh, what? off the plus four, he got the parry. What's worth that was cheeky. What's worth mentioning here is that I have seen Azerbaijan labbing that as well, so Dizzy has to be careful and second guess his options. I believe that is, oh, not quite deaf just yet. Yeah, you don't want to give Jackie an int right here, especially with a player like Dizzy, who is just known for making these miraculous comebacks, but I don't want to jinx anything. Oh, standing free. Azerbaijan just making a lot of really good decision and, you know, great showing of understanding this matchup right now. Honestly, yeah, that, that bit of tech right there, I had no idea that existed as well. Off of mm -hmm. plus four, especially given the fact that Jackie has like, you know, nine frame mids and stuff. She's got a seven frame down one. It's like there's, there's a few different things that I think to myself, wow, will this actually work? <laughs> but clearly in that situation, you know, Azerbaijan was ready for it and it, and it worked out great for him. And right now he is 2-0 up over CGL's Dizzy TC. Yes, and also I want to mention the 1x bet. It's actually in Azerbaijan's favor. Possibly signs of what we saw at the We Play Dragon Temple. You know, please put down your bets, but please do so respectively if you are above the age of 18. Yeah, don't be silly with betting. That's not a good lifestyle choice. And uh, right here, as we have that, Dizzy taking a little bit of time to think over this. I think that really, like, Dizzy's approach to it has been fine. It's just Azerbaijan has just been pulling out the, um, he's been committing to his mix. You know, he's been taking the risks, but he really firmly believes in them. And, it, and it's just come down to it, Dizzy guessing wrong sometimes. Yeah, well, honestly, Azerbaijan's defense and his challenges have really been working out for him here. And that, that's what ultimately what has interrupts. got Dizzy and has put him, unfortunately, in a 2-0 situation. But, you know, if anyone can bring it back, Dizzy definitely can. Yeah, you can never count this player out as well. A phenomenally good up-and-comer as well. You know, having played competitively since Injustice 2, has been doing a lot since then and rapidly improving. A great whiff punish right there on that forward one Ooh. two, and ends in that meaty forward three, closes out the round for himself. Yeah, Dizzy definitely showing signs of life and then possibly more comfort in this matchup as it has gone on. You know, the adaptive style of this young man can really, really scale oh, a lot yeah. of veterans. Now, I like that real conversion right there off that forward one two anti-air Dizzy, capitalizing on as much damage as I'm sure he could get in that situation safely. And now trading, this is these are favorable trades because look at Azerbaijan's health just taking down when both characters are at 950, that matters a lot. Mm -hmm. Azerbaijan's actually been getting, uh, he's been using 3-3 free free a lot. He's been challenging Dizzy a fair, fair bit, but my goodness, this flame carpet is so incredibly effective, but right now, things very dangerous for Azerbaijan. Definitely looking for. Oh, that he committed! And again, the, the breakaway. Yeah, Dizzy breaking away, straight away. Very questionable decision making right there. Not as the fatal dead. blow just chewing through that and doing not the extra dead. bonus damage. But yeah, not dead yet. And the leap ah, no. getting stuffed out by that meaty ring. Right now, Azerbaijan on set point over Dizzy TT. Yeah, this will be another big win for Azerbaijan, and it just may be a case of Great maybe card. Azer just has Dizzy's number in that respect. Can never count it out until it's over right now. Dizzy had an excellent trip guard right there. No punish! I'm sure that must have been a forward one attempt or something like that, but a great anti-air from Dizzy TT as he's trying to answer back. Stuffed on the way down by Azerbaijan, who's going to find a hit confirm. Drops the combo, though, which gives Dizzy an opportunity. Goes for the one-two. Goes into the flame carpet. This is a very good position for Dizzy. No fatal blow to really worry about right now. It's in the oh, there's the challenge of flame carpet. Yeah, now this is going to be a sticky one for yeah, Azar, who's going to be taking down. down. He just doesn't have anywhere to move on the screen now, and that is that. It's all he needed. Dizzy TT taking an important game for himself, who's having to start this entire reverse sweep and take these three games straight. He's going to have to play out of his mind. Absolutely, but you know, Azerbaijan, as we did see, even going up against Tekken Master, he was able to start adapt and adjusting. So we're going to see a lot of back and forth between both of these players right here, right now. Oh yeah, for sure. Now that down one, cashing out and getting the conversion over for himself, but the takedown, almost 20%, not too much damage to worry about, thankfully. Now Dizzy, if he finds an appropriate hit and he can actually get the hit confirmed, it's going to hurt so much. And Azerbaijan taking down the health a little bit, scouts the back roll as well with a full <laughs> overhead. Now, Azza does play in a very wild manner with uh, how he plays Sonya. He just lets the back one rip, and whilst it may be a high, you know, it 
he, he allows the 50-50 part of the string to come out and really kind of me to you. And if you guess wrong, you guess wrong. If you, if you guess right, you guess right. And right there, man, Azerbaijan, once again, he's on set point over here, looking really, really good so far, playing the Sonya Blade. And uh, you know, Dizzy, this is, a, this is a sicky one for both of them, because they're, oh, oh God, yeah, whole, letting it rip and crushing the ribcage of uh -oh. Jackie Briggs right there. Dizzy finding an opening hit. He's going to turn this into a fair bit of damage right there, sitting at the flame carpet. Yeah, definitely expected a bit of a breakaway there, but unfortunately, Azza did not bite in a very, very comfortable position right now on uh, match point. Because he now has access to Fatal Blow, and we all have seen a fair bit from Jackie over the uh, last day. Now we have, now both these guys are zero and run right now in the group stages as well, so this win is going to be impactful quite significantly at that. I think he tried to 3-3 in between the gap to maybe trigger the crushing blow and go straight to Fatal Blow, but Azerbaijan with the low poke to challenge him again. Challenging him again, both players playing disrespectfully at the moment, trying to find their advantage. Yeah, both players really feeling each other. Oh, oh <laughs> God, and what a trade. we really see. Wow. He was really fishing for it on the approach, and Azerbaijan beating Dizzy TT 3-1. Mm, that is, again, that's what, that's a really big thing for Azerbaijan, and it may be a case of, from replay uh, Dragon Temple, 